Brendan Saranaki. I'm a research engineer here at uh, Maine Maritime Academy's uh, Metal Lab. Um, so what, I'm, what we basically have here is our uh, lab uh, diesel generator that we use for uh, rapid testing of uh, alternative fuel technologies and uh, uh, various uh, uh, fuels and, and technologies in that, in that area. So we have a small uh, Caterpillar marine diesel generator, um, four, small four-cylinder, 2.2 liter diesel generator. It's outfitted with um, various uh, performance uh, and emissions monitoring equipment. So, and then in terms of the uh, emissions equipment, we have here a Fourier transform infrared spectrometer, um, which measures all of our gaseous emissions. So that is hooked up via these heated lines here uh, to the uh, exhaust of uh, the diesel generator. And uh, so this measures all of our gaseous emissions. We have a pump and filter system that brings, basically pumps the sample, the, the exhaust sample, uh, through these lines into this instrument. Basically it looks at the uh, infrared spectrum uh, of the uh, exhaust gases. And from the various, uh, uh, basically, absorption peaks and troughs in that infrared spectrum, you can determine uh, what species exist in that exhaust at what concentrations, depending on, uh, you know, basically what that spectrum looks like. So depending on the molecule, they absorb uh, light in, in different regions of that infrared spectrum, and you can determine um, kind of all in one go all the different species, uh, or at least many of the different species um, present in the exhaust in terms of pollutants. So really what we look at is uh, um, various oxides of nitrogen, NO, NO2, N2O, so your basic NOx compounds, uh, which is a regulated uh, quantity in terms of uh, emissions. Uh, it's really one of the primary ones, uh, especially considered the new uh, VW uh, issues yeah. of late. <laughs>